Hey guys, this is Will, and I'm going to uh, show you how to use your iPhone as a webcam. And I'm going to try out IV Cam. So go to uh, the, uh, the App Store on your iPhone and type in IV Cam, click search. And we've got here IV Cam, Webcam by E2E Soft. Use your phone as a PC webcam and click Get. So wait a minute and let it download it. And click Open. So let's see, what else do we have to do to get it running? Let's see, what does it say? Use your phone as a webcam. Um, let's try to run it IV cam here. Cam features description, Ivy Cam designed to be simple and powerful inside. Most features are clear, while some features are not. Here are some feature descriptions and tips for it. Client software, zoom in and out, manual focus. You have a generate log, manual focus, autofocus. Alright. How do you get it to run on your computer? Let's see if I can get it to connect. I think we probably have to uh, download it on our computer. So let's uh, go to IV Cam. Webcam on uh, the Firefox here. So IV Cam use iPhone as iPad and a webcam. Okay, so download us the latest IV Cam Windows client software. So let's download that. Let's save it. Okay, so we went to uh, e2esoft.com, IV Cam, and downloaded the drivers for it. It's downloading it. Let's see. Why buy webcam since you already have an iPhone, iPad, IV Cam? Turns your iPhone, iPad, and an HD webcam for Windows PC which is much better quality than most webcams. Use the iPhone as a real webcam for your PC. Um, the reason that I'm uh, downloading this, I had um, the Epic Cam software, but it looks like that this uh, IV Cam is higher quality. On the Epic Cam, you have to pay for it to get a higher quality. Um, uh, let's see what looks like the file's really big. Oh, might just give up on this one. <laughs> uh, it's downloading. It's going to take 10 minutes to download it. It's 13.5 megabytes. I'm not improved. I'm not impressed by this IV cam yet. I mean, it might be worth it, but um, I don't know. If we're on our iPhone here, you know, it's uh, it's got a 4.6 rating. 
Um, support for old devices, 10.8 megabytes, works on iPhone. So, let's see what our download is doing. It's taking quite a bit. The download, 13 megabytes. I think that their website's pretty slow. My, my uh, internet connection is not super fast, but it, uh, for the, uh, for the uh, Epicam software by Canoni, I mean, it's connected now, and that's the quality of it. It's got all these ads on it. So, it's only like 640. It's pretty low quality. You can, you know, go to HD and, and buy the, the more expensive, you know, you can buy it. But, It's five ninety nine for the uh, the updated um, one for Epic Cam. Uh, I don't. I'm pretty cheap. I don't want to buy it. So now yeah, we're waiting on this uh, Epic Cam download. Taking a while. <laughs> I think maybe their server is really slow. Uh, let's look. You can do multiple instances. Let's see what all this stuff says on here. Multi instance of IV cam. Install. Um, Got a lot of like ads on there. Looks like you can run multiple iPhones. It says run our app on iPhone and the app will find these instances if they're running which one to use an app will transfer the video selected instance. That's pretty cool. Um, broadcast iPhone video with OBS Studio. With IB Cam, you can easily broadcast your iPhone camera with OBS Studio. Just add a video capture device. Yeah, that, pretty easy. If you can run multiple, use iPhone as a microphone, that's cool. <clears throat> Download software, yeah, and add it. It looks like you can use the microphone. That's pretty cool. So if you had like an iPhone, you know, I mean, I like to record music. If you had an iPhone and you put it on like the drums as a camera, you could switch to that, that source, you know, in OBS. See how our download's doing. Still downloading. And it's been, I don't know, maybe five minutes since we started downloading this thing. So it's taken them quite a while to download it. Usually things download, their server's really slow. Um, so IV Cam, giving it a shot, taking a while to download it though. That's one of my complaints. So... Download the latest IV Cam Windows client software for Windows 7. We're doing that right now. Or if you have a uh, um, iOS, you can download that. Um, features high quality real time video with low latency and fast speed. Well, that'll be great. Automatic connection with Wi Fi or USB. That's great. USB connection. Um, 
on the Epic Cam software, you can't connect with USB, I don't believe, it's just Wi-Fi. Um, this uh, IV Cam supports common video size such as 1080p, 720p, 480p, 360p. Um, let's see, our download's almost done. Uh, landscape and portrait mode supported, cool. Sports front rear camera and real time switching, cool. Sports face, beauty, flash, manual focus, and video flip mirror, nice. Audio supported, user has a wireless microphone, great. Completely replaces the USB webcam or integrated webcam compatible with most applications. Use a webcam, great if that works. Let's see. It's almost downloaded. So this is taking quite a while to download it. I don't know, maybe it took seven minutes or something. But, okay. Let's open the file. And install anyways. It's going to come up with a... Uh... Hey, guys. So I was trying to download uh, IV Cam here. And I did download it, and I did install it, but it's really difficult to get it to work. Um, so you've got to run this IV Cam software after you download it. Um, and then you got to connect it to your iPhone and it sometimes work it sometimes doesn't and it's really frustrating so um, at first it was um, uh, working at a higher resolution at like 12 you can select here your settings and you can select you know a higher resolution but then it'll tell you you got to upgrade it. But it was working at first, and then it quit working. And this enable audio was actually working, but then it stopped working. And also, when I went to their web page, it's like it's got a bunch of these ads, and um, it was like really slowing down my computer, and then it crashed my computer. So I don't know what's going on with their web page. It's kind of weird. So, but. Um, I don't know. I couldn't really get it to work very well. And when I would actually, I actually got it connected uh, to my iPhone and got everything working in OBS so I could see it and everything. And then um, it would like, the picture would flip upside down. So like right now I'm using Epic Cam on my iPhone and it's pretty simple it works pretty good it's a low resolution but at least it's working and this e to e soft iv cam uh, i just couldn't get it to work very well and it would keep crashing and it would open multiple instances like thinking i had multiple cameras when i didn't really have it or multiple phones when i didn't really have multiple phones so I got pretty frustrated with it and I just gave up. So I can't really recommend it other, you know, um, I've got a pretty old computer, but if you do have an older computer and you try to use this, it probably won't work very well. I did get it to connect. I did get it to do audio. Um, I did, I believe I got it to connect to USB but it has all these so many different options on it that it gets confused and it flips the camera upside down and then it'll like limit what you can use, you know, uh, to like 640 uh, resolution. So I don't know. I'm just going to give it up on it and delete it because um, it just didn't work very well. So um, that's my review on Epic Cam. Or not Epic Cam. <laughs> Epic Cam works pretty good. Uh, I've got it working. It's a low resolution. 
free version, but the E2 eSoft IV Cam, I really don't recommend it. It's too, too confusing. Uh, the uh, web page crashed my computer. It, it, it just doesn't work very well. And the memory that it takes to run the E2 eSoft Cam is um, extra software on my computer. And with the uh, Epic Cam, it doesn't have like all this extra software you gotta run, it just runs. When you install it on your, on your iPhone, it just runs. So I recommend the Epic Cam for the free ones and the uh, Ivy Cam, I have to say a thumb down on it. So anyways, <laughs> take it easy.